does your air dryer do this after you shut the engine off just constantly allow a lot of air to blow by but if it does it's bad it's time for us to replace this one here i'm scott with starkey family fixing rigging up if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you got your notifications turned on let's get this video rolling okay so before we start this right here is the actual air dryer kit and this way you can see the part number and everything on there so let's go ahead and crack this case open and see uh, what all's in there Oh, we got a bunch of paper. Well, it looks like they uh, give us the dryer pre-assembled. Let me grab this out of the box real quick. Okay, so this is the way it showed up. Not exactly the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. If I need to, I can always take the cartridge back off. Um, came with a dryer, cartridge attached, new hardware, which is good. Got three new bolts in there, which the ones coming out, hopefully they don't break off. But if they do, they do. Got a new plug, so just in case my plug is bad. And a, it looks like a regulator, which I really don't see any place for. So... This right here is what I'm actually interested in. This is the part that's bad. So, let's go ahead and start getting that other one off. Okay, so let's go ahead and start removing some of these airlines. Hopefully. Hate just having to go through and cut them all because we got to reuse some of these fittings. <clears throat> There's one. Let me go get some penetrating oil. Just go ahead and spray it. Let's go ahead and spray this down while we're at it. make sure before you start this job that uh, all the air is bled out of your uh, air tanks <laughs> I thought it was all out but apparently not oh by the way I wanted to go ahead and tell everybody this is actually the factory unit on my truck and I have 1,408,000 miles on it so if you take care of your equipment good stuff like this won't be going out all the time okay so now we can come back here maybe and get the plug there we go so all we got now is this airline here okay so that's, oh, well, that's not what i wanted Yeah, we got one that's been stubborn. Okay, I think it'd be in my best interest to try to take everything else out. <clears throat> Let me 
before I work on that. Okay, so unfortunately, the way this is going to go down is not the way I, I intended. So, this fitting here is frozen. I cannot get it to come free without breaking something. But where it actually screws into this housing has broken free. So, unfortunately, the way I'm going to have to do this is unbolt the unit. And then unscrew the unit off of the hose which is like i said not really what I, what i want to do but that's why it's going to play out so let's go ahead and start unbolting this okay let's go ahead and take this cartridge off first that'll make it less heavy This actually is the wrench of choice when messing with these filters. Okay, so these are actually three quarter inch. Okay, let's get this next one. <clears throat> it's actually coming out pretty simple so far. Now, this is probably going to tumble down or twist around anyways, so let's see. <clears throat> I will let that just kind of dangle down there for a minute. And actually, it reaches the ground, so that's good. Okay, so basically what we're doing is this unit does not weigh a whole lot with the cartridge out. Okay, so what we're doing is... We're just going to unscrew this line from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna tell you, this is not very fun. Okay, so all these little air fittings that are in here, we need to take them out and we're going to reuse them. Okay, so when you go to reinstall it, make sure you have sealant on the threads. Okay, this one here was installed, but I want to make sure that it's got proper sound on it. It's got the dry stuff on, but I'm not too fond of that. Okay, so this is actually the last fitting that goes right here but just because we have to twist this to get this on I'm gonna save this one here for last okay so this is gonna be a pain <clears throat> I got my uh, thread tape on there so now we got to thread this thing on Sometimes you gotta do this dumb stuff. Okay. So now, I'm gonna grab a bolt and about half secure this on. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this thing. Now first, I need to put some anti-seas on a bolt. Okay, let me go get another one in there. And then the last one. And I'm going to tighten it down. Okay, so now we can start putting all the fittings, well, the, the last remaining fitting on, 
and then we can start hooking the air lines up and the electrical plug. Got on, you can go on there. Not a bad groove on here, so it should be fine without having to chop it. Same thing with this one here. Not a bad groove. Now I am going to tell you, normally I would use electrical grease on this plug. But I'm actually out, so I will have to come back and get some after I get some uh, electrical grease. Okay, so let's fire it up. Okay, so I let it run for a little bit. It did relieve pressure. So everything is working working great on the functionality of it. And as you can see, there's no more air leaking out of it. And I just shut the truck off. So I think we're good to go. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope if you have any problems, you're willing to go in and save yourself some money and do this job yourself. It's not that bad. And uh, you all take great care. Watch my other videos. Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on. I can't emphasize enough. I'll see you guys in the next video.